Welcome back, Commanders. My name is The Craven. This is some more your Ruby Nerds LS4 playing as the Netherlands in the Common Sense expansion. And we did finish the colonization of Jamaica last time. So we're actually getting a merchant from the Dutch Antilles. Dutch Guiana and Brazil are getting me gold. That is nice. So let's see, where should I put this merchant? So many merchants. We're actually all the way in Kiev trading money, which is insane. We're pushing a lot, and I mean seriously a lot over here. There's nothing left behind in Bordeaux, which is fine. So I don't need to send them there. Mm, this might actually be a good idea to send more money from Ragusa northward. Let's transfer trade power by Philips Brandt. Okay, other things to look for. We have three colonists. We have seven colonies. Okay, and uh, one of them is Zosa, which is, of course, uh, currently the wrong religion and the wrong culture. So I should send someone here for now. Um, we have Pok, no society islands. Let's recall you for a second. And let's send them to Zosa instead. England wants an alliance. Sweden will be forced to give Denmark money. Um, doesn't that mean that they're still in the PU? Yep, they are once again in a personal union. And England, go home. You're drunk. You just run a war together. I'm not going to do that again. And um, turn off forced march and come home. You come home to our explorer is actually busy again or not busy wait wait where is he oh he's not even wait where oh no he's attached to this fleet fine um mm -hmm. then we're gonna send him out again Let's see, we have done the circumnavigate the globe, so no need to do that again. Let's explore um, the waters of Mexico. Sure, might actually be the other side of Mexico that we're going to explore now, but mm, fine. England has announced us. Wow, not accepting the alliance instantly made them rifle us. Okay. Don't think I need to have the Ottomans as a rival anymore, and I'd rather switch that over to the English right now. How about France? France is still rivaling us, yeah. Make some for some very powerful rivals over here. How about Austria? Did Austria not unrival me at some point? No, 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 they still have us as rivals. So does France. Um, Castile doesn't. Aragon is my ally. The Ottomans have also rivaled us. But I feel like I should not have the Ottomans as a rival. So I'm going to switch it over to England. It will cost me 100 diplomatic power, but... Vijayana Gar can be my rival. Interesting choice there. Definitely. Um, this fleet, or this army, I should say. Denmark has come to your, in the war against Cologne. They just, okay, Tunis will cede Palermo and Syracuse to Naples. So they got their islands back. Cede Cors Cagliari to Sardinia. A Cesare to the Provence. Wow, the Provence just established themselves on Sardinia. Um, we are allies. Sweden is forced into this war as well, which is hilarious. So Brandenburg is like really small. And there's also Saxony. Cologne, Brandenburg and the Palatinate. Yeah. I'll actually accept this war. Not surprised that all my colonies joined in as well. And I'm gonna siege up Cologne. Because I can. Um, I'm wondering though, do we have any 
new buildings to build. Um, Lithuania. Seriously. Oh, France is also in this war. Okay. It's a shame that Lithuania joined in. Magdeburg honored their lines. Um, Cayenne grows by 100. Battle of the Kattegat. We've got all our level 3 forts, so that's not a necessity. That's not even a word, but fine. Universities are located in some places. Trade depots. Um, nothing very special comes up. Diplotech 22. 19 will get us the Grand Shipyard. And we are getting closer to 19 anyway, so that's good. You guys get on your transport. Sardinia joined in as well. Oh boy. Platinum is calling in all its allies, and it doesn't really have that many very strong ones. So, how is our trade power in this zone anyway? The West Africa Company. Oh, hang on. That seems. I didn't know you could promote investments in these people. That's actually pretty cool. Let's invest in the Ivory Coast then. Give them more trade power. And how are we even doing here? Yeah, it, it is only um, also giving all of your provinces to the company, yes. We now have, we still have 56% of the trade power here. Okay. 38.1, uh -huh. getting there. And why is this yellow? Is it because there's no room to build it? Yeah, there is no room. Oh, we need to get all the way to 20. And I kind of want to get tax right now, so. I know I'm taking a lot of attrition, uh, you having my army purely there but it makes a siege go the fastest with all the cannons I suppose and yeah, 9 is the maximum that would actually help us right now warriors do not read books oh great we lose stability I'm gonna have to improve that um, how fast 0 0.08 that's quite a bit of attrition we do get some money out of it. Let's have a look at Zosa. It's now reformed and Dutch culture. Much better. Diviet Aztec. Um, let's get started on some fabricate claims on these guys. Grafrenet. Brandenburg will be forced to give Frankfurt some money. You can never have too much grain in Zosa. Of course, it's grain. Oh, well. Hmm, our capital is doing really well. 40 development. Hell yeah. Um, Cologne accepted. The Whoa. Munster, Castle, and Paderborn to Frankfurt. Baden accept. Baden was full annexed by the Alsace. Holy crap. My fervor. Okay, let's go back to trade. English West Indies declared war upon their new enemy England. They cite colonial independence as their reasoning. That's a very, very early one, I guess. So the war with English Brazil as well. Wow. English Mexico joined them, but L Lorraine is their ally. And there's actually a fully formed Ireland now. Wow. So, Denmark is getting sieged. Sugar and Cayenne, that's actually pretty good. Um, okay, diplomatic faux pas. Oh, we get 10 years of less... Ah, that's a shame. Um, yeah, we could convert these in the near future, but I'd rather get started on Bintan. Oh no, Kanoi. Hang on, where is Bintan? Oh, that's actually that island. Okay, fine. 
Um, now that we have it done, we can add to the company. Let's get you Trade Depot over here. Because they're going to be useful still. Ish. Little bit. Guatemala Basin. Yeah, they're on the. They're definitely on the west side of uh, Mexico now. Oh no, they're now sieging me. I have not mothballed anything. Well, we did win the siege of Cologne, so let's um have a party here with these people and these people. All oh, right, France is also in this war. Great, now they reinforce them. Well, in that case, I'm retreating with a very minimal war score loss. Fish in Maniokugan. I'm going to retreat behind my forts. Sibir will cede 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 provinces to Muscovy. Kazan will cede 2 more to Muscovy. And Nogai will see two to Muscovy. Jesus, Muscovy. Equatorial Pacific countercurrent. Cologne is under siege. Destroyed the fleet of uh, Oldenburg. Castile entered the military alliance with Sardinia. See, now it's a good time to fight this um, army in Cleve. Uh, that they have uh, their armies retreated. There we go. Now we get defensive. Nope, they actually don't want to come in now. Sweden is actually helping. Wow. They just got out of the war for independence. And we gain a claim on Luxembourg. It is the only one I will actually still take from France in Europe. We've gained the Casas Belly against France. Um, whoa, we have a free merchant. That's our 13th. Why do we have another merchant? We have Nova Olandia grew to 10. Congratulations. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 even. That's probably... The, yeah, it is the one. It's uh, doing very well there. Um, we should expand on Dutch Guiana and Dutch Brazil as well. We are already expanding Dutch Brazil, so that's good. Um, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. They are actually already at 10. Ah, uh, there's one they're doing themselves, so it's not a full city yet. And they have to be completed colonies before it works. Um... Okay, let's look at the trade map again. Maybe we should send some money out of the Caribbean. It does go th straight to Bordeaux. And uh, there's a lot of power being brought down towards Genoa. So I'd rather send it from the Caribbean through up north. So we're going to transfer trade power. And once he's there, Songhai have announced us as their rival. Well, whatever floats their boat, I suppose. So we have to transfer this through the Chesapeake Bay, where we have more power, and we're actually sending it straight to the English Channel. We're trading in tropical wood, which drops development cost by 5%. That's pretty good. Uh, sent towards the English Channel, which is exactly what we need. Still needs to get here. Transfer trade power. I actually have less power than the uh, West Indies. And they're actually sieging us now. Quite a few are sieging us. Um, yes, they're doing it in the right way. Okay. Let's have an actual look at the armies here now. 45 stack, holy crap. Well, um, it does mean that this uh, is a very... Um... Uh, oh, wow, they actually missed us there. 
They can't really get into our lands because of all our forts on the border, which is genius. But yeah, this is a fight against Lithuania, who is one level of military behind. And that would be Magdeburg. Magdeburg is actually quite strong. Come on, Denmark, join up here. Oh man, they really need to hurry. Damn it, we lost this fight. I'm retreating. All the way to Ghent. Well, when they jump in, at least this army is so low. That they should have a chance at winning. But yeah, Sweden is more powerful in battle than uh, Denmark anyway. We lost quite a bit there, which is unfortunate. And we get to upgrade our ships. You are trading in the English Channel. You're going to upgrade for 511 ducats. And go back to the English Channel. I also want our 80 fleet to come down here and do the same thing. How have they still not beaten them? Oh no, that's the second fight. Lithuania fighting Denmark now. Um, 316 versus a 602. Yeah, the 316, obviously. Two points more. 1475. That's a lot. You are going to go back to Lubeck, because we kind of want the trade power there. But now we can build the Grand Shipyards. That is an upgrade I will really want to get. Now we're down to 608 in the treasury. Hmm. Not great. Once our ships are trading again, that will hopefully give us some more income again. It's mostly due to the fact that we have seven colonies running simultaneously. That is definitely not helping there. Um, hmm. Hmm. But we still own Cologne, which is hilarious. Um, oh yeah, we lost our leader too. We're getting really crappy ones there as well, but... Eh. Let's get a full siege on Cologne going. There we go. And retreat. No, no, no. Actually, siege up first and then we're retreating. 40 days. Whoa, our siege ability is quite bad. Oh, no, no. That's actually a positive one. No, it's their true defender of the faith and defensive mentality. They have plus 45% defensiveness here. It's not nothing. There we go, that would be Cologne sieged up. Can I bow out of this war? Well, they would let me go. Yeah, sure, I'll, I'll jump out then. I'm not gonna stick around in that mess if I don't have to. And besides, I don't even want the lands. We've learned about a ton of places. Well, I think we just learned mostly of this area. Um, diplomatic insult. Try to ease the tension. Yeah. Why not ease some tension everywhere? Rio de Prata is still in its war with... Uh, holy crap, Portugal is... Castile has been completely sieged. And they're not giving up Barcelona to Aragon. Uh, that is also a little bit silly, but okay. Um, Waters of Mexico, and he lands in Binton. I don't need you to hunt pirates. I need you to just go and explore the coast of Canton, then. Rain Coast, Ivory Coast are now considered part of the patrimony. Excellent, excellent. Uh, what is our current mission? Lithuania should be our friend. Well, we just had a war against them, which is not helpful. That's not gonna happen, so I'm gonna cancel the mission. 
And our colony declared war on Nova Scotia. Uh, okay, I have to watch their alliances. France and Ulm. So we might be going to war with France in the near future because Scotland will pull them in. I would like to thank you all for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date in the future. I'll see you guys later.